This video is on scale drawings on a coordinate plane. These are your notes. All these notes should be copied down on your sheet. Let's start with the definition for scale drawing. This definition should be copied down on your sheet. Uh, if you need to, pause the video so you can copy it down on your sheet. Scale drawing, a drawing that changes the size of a given image. Our next definition is scale factor. Again, this should be copied down on your sheet. If you need to, pause the video. Scale factor, the value you multiply by in order to change, oops, change the size of a given image. So let's do the we do. Enlarge the pre-image using a scale factor of three. First of all, enlarge, that means that we're going to change the size of the image. So enlarge means to make bigger. So underline enlarge and then copy down that quick note. Enlarge means to make bigger. So it says enlarge the pre-image the pre-image is the original image. So underline pre-image and jot down original image. So these are important things we should know. Enlarge the pre-image using a scale factor of three. So the first thing we wanna do before we enlarge the actual image is all the points that we're given point A, point B, point C, point D, first we have to plot them. So let's plot and label. So first let's start with point A. A can be found at two, three, so if I look on my coordinate plane, I go, I start at zero, zero, I can go to the right two, and then up three. So two, three, point A. And then let's plot point B at three, four, so I go to the right three and then up four. So this is point B. And then point C is at four one. So I go to the right four and then up one. So this is point C. So again, we're plotting and labeling first. Point D is at four four, so four four. This is point D. And then since you guys have rulers, go ahead and connect your points. So mine's not going to be as neat because I don't have a straight edge. So connect your points. So here we have a trapezoid or a quadrilateral, four sides. So first step, plot the given points. So since we plotted the given points, now it says enlarge the pre-image using a scale factor of three. So this image that we just plotted is going to grow or get bigger three by three times its original size. So in order to do that, we just start with point A, and then I'm going to multiply times three. So in other words, I'm going to multiply the X and the Y value times three. And one thing to know is that when we... Um, change the size of an image or do anything to make it different, we're going to, yes, plot the point, but the different point. And then so this new point for point A after we do times three is going to be known as a prime. So that apostrophe is read as prime. So that prime, it looks like an apostrophe, but is known as prime, is going to show me that we did something different to change point A. So let's look back at times three. So I know that two times three will give me six. So that's my new X coordinate for A prime. And then three times three will give me nine. So A prime, after we've changed A, its new coordinate is going to be six, nine. However, let's save um, plotting all the points at the very end. So now let's look at point B. Again, I'm going to do the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate times 3. So my, two, my new coordinates for b prime, remember prime shows us that we changed something to the original coordinate, will be 3 times 3, I know is 9, 4 times 3, I know is 12. So for b prime, it's going to be 9, 12. Again, let's save plotting it till the very end. So now let's look at point C. 
again times 3. So I'm going to do x coordinate and y coordinate times 3. And then let me change colors. So my new coordinates for c prime will be 4 times 3, I know is 12. And then 1 times 3, I know is 3. So for c prime, it's going to be 12, 3. Let's save the plotting for the end. And then let's take a look at point D, our last point. Again, times 3. And I'm going to do the x coordinate and the y coordinate times 3. And then so for D prime, I know that 4 times 3 gives me 12. And then 4 times 3 gives me 12. So my new coordinates for D will for D prime will be 12, 12. So now we've multiplied by our scale factor of 3, so let's go ahead and plot all of our new points. So let's start with A prime. I know is 6, so I go over 6, and then I can go up 9. So my new point for A prime, and label it A prime, is at 6, 9. For B prime, it's 9, so I go over 9, and then up 12. So this is B prime. And then for C prime, it's 12, 3, which will be right here. So label it C prime. And then for D prime, it's 12, 12. So this will be D prime. And let me switch colors. And then I'll go ahead and connect all of my points. Again, since you have a ruler, Go ahead and use your ruler. I'm just going to make my lines as straight as possible. And then so here we have our scale drawing of um, trapezoid A prime, B prime, C prime, D, C, C prime, D prime. <clears throat> so we've gone from our pre-image to our scaled image. <clears throat> Um, and so just to prove that our um, new image is three times larger than our pre-image, we can do something, just measure one side of um, the images. So for example, I know from, if I look, let me change colors. In my pre-image, um, side DC, I know that's one, two, three units long. Right, so if this is three units long, let's look at our um, scale drawing. Let's look again at the corresponding side or the same side. Now I'm looking over here at D prime, C prime. If I know it's three, if it's three times the original image, let's count. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this side here, let me erase all these is nine units long. So three times three, I know, gives me nine units. So that proves that the new image is three times the original image. So to wrap up our notes, let's look at a few things we might notice. If you look, everything was times three, times three, times three, times three. So we're multiplying by the same value each time, times three, times three, times three, times three. Times three. I know that the scale factor, again, times 3, one thing we should notice is that the scale factor, this should be written in your notes, the scale factor is the constant of proportionality. Slash unit rate. Because it's times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, the same um, factor each time. And then the last thing you should notice is that if you look at our figures, they're the same shape but different sizes. So same shape and different size means that scale drawings, they create a certain type of figure. So scale drawings create similar figures. Again, this should be copied down in your notes. Figures. So next, 
Um, glue your notes into your notebook. I'll tell you what page um, number to glue it on. And then you're ready to start your station. So get a station sheet from me and then start your task.